itself, I have to, I have to be there to support. So I have to do a lot of the work on my own internally. You know, it's not, whether I have a company or not, I'm still me. And I'm still living out my life the way I see fit, which is, you know, taking care of my family, taking care of myself. So it's like, okay, let's look at what would it take to care, take care of myself better. So that means, hey Joe, you should probably stop eating junk food. Okay, we're gonna work on that. We're gonna set a plan, we're gonna set, we're gonna find what we do enjoy eating, right? And yeah, sure, all the fast food, junk food, sure, it does taste great. I'll give you that. For the most part, some of it's still trashy, but it's like, okay, we enjoy those foods, but what are those foods? Okay, those foods are burgers. Okay, understood. It's like, do you enjoy burgers? Yes. Are there better, higher quality burgers out there that you would benefit from, from eating instead of eating the fast food? Yeah, I would believe so, you know. And let's take in a higher quality of a burger patty and cheese and the bun and the vegetables that go with it. You know, does the cheapest one mean it's the best product for me? Eh. Are there comparable priced burgers that are of higher quality that you can get that are better for you overall? Yeah? Okay, then where are those places? Let's find those places. If you want a burger, great. Go get a better burger. And it's like, okay, and then, you know, can you afford to order one out? Or do you need to make one at home? There's another, right? You can't always go out and eat out. I mean, you can we got the finances for it, but you know, it's like, do you want to go trek all the way out to go eat somewhere? You know, hard to say, but for me, you know, I like to eat at home because I, you know, work from home, but you still want to go out and enjoy the hard work that other people have created, like all the restaurants that are out there that do a really good job. The environment's fun. You know, if you're just ordering your food, eating it in your car, you know, where is any of the hard work that you put in for that, All right? And if we're eating too much, and we're not doing enough to burn off the calories, you know, you're gonna intake too many calories, and then you're gonna have extra calories in your body, which then turns into fat overall. And it's a tricky one because it just depends on what your lifestyle is and what you're going through. So, it's just a lot of factors there. And I'm not a nutritionist, so please, if you need one, go find one. And there's tons of books, and there's tons of videos, and there's tons of this and that, that and the third, and a bajillion programs, and everyone out there to tell you something's good for you or something's bad for you. But the overall thing is you need to find what works for you. There's only one of you that I know of. So, you know, find what works for you, find what your lifestyle is, find what kind of person you are, what your activities are, and then meet your needs, depending on what your goals are. So for me, it's I want to stop being lazy and feel like I'm wasting my time. So, okay, how do we not waste our time and not feel so lazy? So it's like, okay, do I enjoy watching TV shows and movies? Yes, I do. Hold on. It's like, okay, can I work out and still do that? Yes. How, and then we figure out the answer. You know, at a gym, uh, you know, could you put up your phone, watch a show on a bike? Probably. Treadmill might be a little harder. Probably need a bigger screen if they got like a whole full TV. But, you know, are you able to watch your show or are you just watching the shows on like at the gym that they have going on? You know, do you have time to go to the gym? You know, and that's always a big factor in decision making and all that. So. If there's a benefit for you to go to the gym, go to the gym. If there's a benefit for you to do it at home, then do it at home. So for me, I would love to go to the gym, but for some reason I love the isolation and just giving myself the opportunity to be by myself and think and let my brain work the way it works and then come up with like ideas. I might be watching a show, but you know, somewhere deep back in my brain, there's something else working thinking and developing so I try to eliminate some of those distractions to let that little piece at the end of the day you know, process look through analyze and then you know come up with 
an idea. That's where most of my ideas come from, are either early in the morning or later in the evening. You know, why, how, couldn't tell you, but I like to give myself that time to give myself the ability to come up with those ideas. So, you know, if I'm distracted and I'm out and, you know, just entertained and all that, you know, I don't give my brain that opportunity to process and think and look over things. So, you know, when I'm by myself, I'm kind of doing something mundane, like, you know, I probably should meditate more and I miss meditating. And I know it did me a lot of good, but it's like right now, like the past year, my brain has just been in overdrive, just going because I'm thinking of all, all these factors for like my business and all these opportunities on how I can help other companies and how I can help myself and my company and help it grow and help it become more efficient. So it's just literally the past year, it's just been a super session of just taking in everything I've learned, you know, in life, in the military, in the jobs I did afterwards, and in school and college, and I'm throwing all these things together and making the connections. I'm like, okay, like I'm figuring it out. That's all, you know, it's, there are answers that I'll finally figure out or be able to explain. And I feel like that's an important piece is that I can explain my answer. You know, am I able to break it down all the way to the, you know, Adam, no, but I can give a great overview of how I got there, what it's for, who's it's for, and that's just where my brain's been for the past year. But enjoyable, but hard to meditate when you have like a thousand questions trying to be answered at one time. A little overwhelming, but it's what I enjoy. And I enjoy doing it, but you know, I would love to give myself some time to meditate. I'm sure there are some answers ready for me by having given myself the time to slow down and just hone in on what you know the universe is trying to tell me or what I'm trying to tell myself or you know whatever however meditation works but that's where I've been so don't be afraid to improve yourself you're gonna have to put in all the work you can try to have others help you but know that it's really all up to you might sound scary, might sound crazy, but you're in control of yourself. Don't let anyone else be because, you know, do they know what's good for you? Do they know what it takes to take care of you? Do they know what your goals are, what your dreams are? And if they do, and they're willing to help you in that direct way, then okay, that's something good for you. If it's a one size fits all, you might get you know, 90% of what you want out of it. You can try. You can definitely try it, and I hope it works out for you. But overall, take responsibility of yourself. Don't be afraid. Be happy that you're improving yourself, and you're making yourself better, faster, stronger, smarter, whatever it is that you're trying to get to. But along the process, make sure you take care of yourself. Stay focused. Stay healthy. Because if you're out, you're out. So, do your best, everyone. Have a great day. Got the sun on my back. Got the dog. We're just gonna continue on walking on, but y'all take care.